My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father, no mother, no fear. An itching urge for vengeance is what brought me here. My father died in a work accident four years ago today. Well, I don't believe in accidents. I believe someone should pay. I came back to the city in search of answers and for the man who ruined my life, B.B. Wolf. So, in case you doubt it, this is no fairy tale, because there is nothing fair about it. These piles of paper, covered with dust and lies, might just contain a clue to help me uncover the truth. Suspect in the disappearance of Ulrika's women, and my father's death as well? Who is this creature from hell? An ugly face, hiding ugly secrets. And an even uglier contractor, so it seems. Looks like the sewer is my next stop. Well... I'm ready to crack open this can of worms. Now, how about a tin opener? <laughs> Even better. Let's go find that filthy rat. Mary sat beside me in third grade. Her hair was fair, her skin so bright. Her mind, not so much. She copied my homework. I ate her lunch. One day, Mary's mother sat in the principal's office crying. We instantly knew, yet another girl missing. Yet another mystery in tomorrow's paper. Her seat remained empty, as did mine the following day. Her father and granny agreed the city was no longer a safe place for me to stay. Well, this is a part of town I've never been before. Wouldn't recommend it to visitors, that's for sure. Home to rats and bats, and to that musical piece of kidnapper scum. I can't wait to break his flute and make that bastard forever mute. You must be friends with that other rat. The one with the flute, right? Believe it or not, normally I love all animals.
Lovely odor. I wish I'd left my nose at home today. Only creatures from hell could live in this kind of smell. And I thought I had a crappy place. Come on, you Pied Piper. I'm running out of patience. Time to show your face. My own feet to the fire wasn't exactly what I had in mind. is having a bowel movement. Someone should really send a plumber down here. met my mother. It was love at first sight. Marriage soon followed with a handful of guests and a spit-roasted pig. Their future looked bright. Until one day, she didn't come home. On the table was a note. I'm picking flowers in the woods. Another search notice in the paper. An insufferable tragedy for the hoods.
you. Even uglier in the flesh. What's your plan? Hit me with that dreadful flute? The only thing that hurts is my ears. Was it you who took my mother? And what about my father, Joseph Hood? Speak, or stay forever mute. Someone's been overfeeding you. Wanna play, furry bastard? Woohoo! His axe kicks a major ass! Or is it me? And a jock. Your mother must be proud. I'll get you. Just you wait. So, this is where he's hiding. Not only his creep self, but those poor girls as well. I can smell their fear. The bad dreams haunting them at night. Their pillows wet with tears. Mothers unaware of their plight. The devil's dormitory spooks the crap out of me. The Wolf Industries headquarters, where the factory staff had their office, where my father used to slave away. It's in this awful building that his lifeless body was found. A bookcase covering his chest. The collected works of Da Vinci accompanied him in eternal rest. Early that Thursday morning, Hawker set up stalls and goods. When word of his death reached the market and a friend of father was summoned to bring the bad news to the woods.
Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Thank <laughs> you. 